Now what is up my fellow prod coders welcome to this video and today we will finish off this entire video series. We're only one small step away from doing so. Um, there is one other thing that I still want to do here so say someone for whatever reason leaves out these two query parameters or leaves out one query parameter let's uh, let's just say search maybe well then you're going to see this right we don't know what to do there are no query parameters avail available uh, and then we just do something crazy that's not good uh, so the original Yelp application has some fancy logic that it's running just some geolocation script like on the server side I think and then it's figuring out like where you are and then it's automatically searching for something in the in the area of wherever you're located so that's pretty cool but <laughs> we can't do that we or we won't really do that here uh, so we will go for an easier approach we'll just redirect to the main page so we can say if in our search component if not term or uh, if not location param then uh, we're going to redirect history dot push to slash okay so if I now say first Berlin and I go here I get the result if I try to do this bam you see I get redirected and if I oops <laughs> It's hard to go back here and if I only leave out one of them maybe yes we also get redirected and if we uh, zoom wrong no it's the correct spelling and maybe what happens if we leave an empty string yes we also get redirected because remember we're checking for truthy and falsy like respectively so we say if not term and this is true if the term is null undefined uh, zero uh, empty string like these kind of things and that's why this overall logic works so last thing we need to do is we need to commit all our changes uh, let's not commit our uh, bureau token as usual so we can say uh, polishing or what was it actually? Um, yeah, no, it's like URL updates uh, and polishing. Nice, so let's push this. And ladies and gentlemen, I would say right now, we are pretty much done with this thing so of course a few things don't work so for example we haven't enabled uh, these things over here or the login and the sign up um, but the basic functionality is there and this is what we care in this this is what we care about in this tutorial right we want to see okay how does the basic functionality work um, how do we fetch data how do we display data and starting with this i think right now you should have a pretty good idea on how to build React applications based on hooks on your own. And this is the purpose of, or this was the purpose of this tutorial. So I really hoped uh, that you like, liked it. So I liked it a lot. Um, and uh, it was quite a lot of work for all of us. So first of all, like congratulations for sticking around. This is absolutely not normal in uh, like for the generation today I would say because you know Instagram generation they only have an attention span of like a couple of minutes maybe but you probably watched all of these videos so that was quite long and uh, you should know that not everyone is doing this and uh, I would like to thank you for that like uh, thank you for spending your time uh, with me with these videos and um, yeah I hope that you got some value out of it so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and please also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because in the future 
we might do some other projects here, right? We might use some other technologies. We might go into backend. Um, yeah, let's just see. Let's just see what comes up. So again, thank you very much. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.